heaters are something which we all are familiar with. But how about solar coolers? Yes, while a DST has been striving hard to deploy solar-powered light and heating units in rural areas, the organization has now come up with an experimental prototype of solar cooling system to address the rural India's refrigeration needs. More details in this report. Speak of renewable energy and the first thing that comes to mind is solar energy. And speak of solar energy and the first thing that comes to mind is electrification and heating. But solar energy cannot only be used for lightning and heating purposes but for cooling as well. This is being demonstrated as a unique laboratory scale prototype of solar coolers by the team of Professor Pradeep Datta from Indian Institute of Sciences who has developed this technology under the ages of Department of Science and Technology. The solar cooling technology is based on the use of low-grade thermal energy, preferably below 100 degrees Celsius instead of relying solely on electricity. To achieve this, researchers have used a silica gel and water absorption system which can operate within 75 to 85 degrees Celsius easily attained by solar collectors. The system is designed to generate cooling through flash evaporation of saline, subsoil or sea water at 5 degrees Celsius. Here the idea is how to use natural resources like renewable energy such as solar collected heat to use for cooling. So we are not only saving electricity but we are using something which is just naturally available. So from a sustainability point of view, this is a wonderful idea of using solar heat to do the cooling and especially in places like uh, rural uh, applications uh, like chilling of vegetables or milk uh, or even preserving medicines, uh, this would be uh, something that uh, one can use instead of uh, electricity driven uh, refrigeration or uh, air conditioning unit. The resulting steam is then subjected to multiple rounds of thermal compression to produce the cooling effect. While generally, electricity is used to power the thermal compression process, researchers have designed the system using silica gel and water absorption, which can operate with 75 to 85 degrees Celsius heat. This energy required for thermal compression is supplied by the hot water from specially designed solar collectors. While the researchers have developed a large lab-scale prototype of the instrument, the team has also set up a scaled-up rooftop unit. The solar cooling systems, which are cost-effective and energy-efficient, have been developed to address the refrigeration needs of rural India in terms of short-term preservation of agro-produce and life-saving medicines. Based on the cost-effective design and initial performance data, the investigators believe that the scale-up unit has the potential to be deployed and commercialized in the future by making a product in collaboration with an industry 